Hi everyone, welcome to the Psycho Sim Project here on YouTube. Today's um, a bit of a different video. I've never really done a video like this before. In fact, I have never done a video like this before. However, um, I put up the video, my last video, the review of the, uh, I believe it's now out, um, Tenga Cavalry album. Um, and I put it up and after a day or so, I started getting a few comments on it. Um, now, a lot of that seemed fairly negative, to be honest with you, but um, I want to go into those negative comments, kind of answer some of the criticisms that I got, and basically sort of try and answer them, as it were, in whatever way I can. Um, and I've got some other things to say at the end of the video about uh, the backlash, as it was, because this is technically the most negative reaction I've had to a review video I've put up. I will fully admit that. So, let's put me sort of rubber gloves on and dive right in to this this fun, fun shithole of, uh, of me being a bad reviewer. Oh, this is going to be fun. First of all is Vasler who says, OK, it is really easy to find videos of the band giving the album pronunciation, underlined. You say they use violins when they use Mongolian instruments, underlined. Nature, Nature also says the name of the band in that one if you want to perfect your pronunciation of the band name. You could try defining folk singing, also underlined, rather than making a pretty bad comparison, also underlined. They are actually links, I'm just saying underlined because they seem like they're making a point there. So, in reply to what Vasler had said, um, I'm not going to say on what site these were said either, that's that's for these people to know, but I thought, uh, you know, I'd, there's still criticisms of the video I put up. Um, she says that it's really for easy to find videos of the band giving the album pronunciation. Now, admittedly, fair enough, didn't do my research, and I can only apologise for that. That is something I should have done, um, even though... I'm not really making excuses here, I'm just going to say it. My internet was playing up that day, um, and really, at the time, I was trying to get a video up um, as soon as possible for you people, because I had a bit of a backlash of albums at the time, and that was the last one um, for me to listen to, get a review up at the time. I've now got another backlog of uh, albums to get through, but anyway. Um, then she says, obviously, you say they use violins when they use Mongolian instruments. You know what? You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Um, even said that in the press release. I don't know why I decided to only say violins. Um, my, as you can probably tell from this, my reviews are pretty much unscripted. Well, they're not scripted at all. Um, I'll add one or two little bullet points just to remind myself of stuff. For some reason, I didn't write down Mongolian instruments because I'm a twat, apparently. I mean, the sound they're going for is generated by Mongolian instruments. And uh, then she said, obviously, about you could try defining the throat singing rather than making a pretty bad comparison. This is down to me not scripting my videos. Um, I basically was trying to think off the top of my head. Didn't work out that well. It was a bad, pretty bad comparison. But off the top of my head, that was the best I could think of. Try to define throat singing. Really, can you really define throat singing in an accurate manner? It is something... You have to hear yourself. Um, and this is the weird thing. With the review, it weren't people having a go at me for saying, oh, the album's bad or anything, because obviously I didn't. I actually recommended the album pretty much. I still do. Um, I've got to give it another listen, but um, I actually really rather enjoyed it. So there we go. Um, also, I did reply to Varslo and things sort of went on. And I, you know what? I am just going to completely put my hands up and I am going to apologise to Vasla. I do apologise I, if I am pronouncing that wrong and no you do, don't have a video of you saying how to pronounce that um, anyway um, I have this really really bad tendency of replying to stuff um, every now and again that I see very much just before I go to bed sometimes I had done that to Vasla's first comment and I came across as basically a complete and utter arsehole. I fully put my hands up for that. Didn't mean so, so massive apologies to Vasla or Vasla um, for doing that. I didn't mean to offend you or come across that way. I don't know what was wrong with me that day, to be totally honest with you. Hopefully, you'll accept my apologies. Now, 
on to the uh, next criticism, shall we? Up next is Dozgvad, who says, Tenga is quite exhilarating. I recommend everyone go see them, even if it's not their cup of tea. I've dragged friends who are less inclined to metal to go see them, and they had a blast. Now that I could believe, because um, I'd imagine a Tenga Cavalry uh, live show is pretty damn amazing. Then he goes on to say, it's best to take criticism, constructive or otherwise, as a means to improve ourselves, or in the, this case, a review. It is through our mistakes and errors that we improve. People are mirrors in that regard. Take their, these as a means to make the next one better. If we spend time defending or justifying everything, then there's no room to grow or mature. Up next was Dozkavad. Again, I don't know how to pronounce that, so apologise if I have pronounced that wrong, mate. Um, now, he... Didn't really criticise the video as such, fair enough. He said, like, obviously, uh, take it as constructive criticism. Again, apologies to him because some of the things I said sort of come across a little bit um, arsehole ish. But apologies to you, dude. Um, uh, he says the review feels like it was a little flat. It's me. I'm just, maybe that's just how I come across sometimes. What can I say, really? If it comes across a little flat. Um, Again, this might just be due to me not scripting the review beforehand um, because I feel like having this spontaneous edge to my reviews sometimes works for me, sometimes doesn't. This is one of those uh, instances where it really, really didn't work for me for a lot of people. Um, but, you know, with that, if it felt a little flat, then fair enough. Um, if that's how you viewed it, criticism taken on board, I'll try and sort myself out to make the reviews um, feel a bit better. So, on to the next one. The next uh, criticism is by Max Faust, who says, Why link the video here if you don't want people's opinion? Mine is that it's clearly a fan video, in inverted commas for some reason, done by an amateur who likes the music. As such, it's fair enough. I wasn't expecting the BBC. I'm glad he wasn't expecting the BBC, because... Christ knows how much it will cost me to make this channel look as good as a BBC program. Um, there might be some copyright issues, but I do think it's legal to play song clips up to a certain length without owing anyone any royalties. If you did that, it might improve the general viewing experience. So, with what Max Faust there, there um, why link the video here if you don't want people's opinion? Um, well, if I don't put the videos up and share them to people, no one's going to watch them. Um, that's why I linked the video. Uh, it's not that I didn't want people's opinion, as I said earlier about the whole Vasla situation. Um, I replied badly, I reacted really badly, and I really shouldn't have. So, there we go with that. Um, uh, so, it's clearly a fan video done by an amateur who likes the music. Um, the whole amateur thing, uh, yeah, the production values are pretty much below. <laughs> very very much below quite a lot of youtubers and all that because um i need to be able to afford a new camera etc um fair enough on that it, they do look a little bit amateurish i can't really do anything about that at the moment for that would require monies that i don't currently have but i've started a new job so hopefully this will change um as for playing the song clips um where you there used to be the thing if you could legally play song clips up to 30 seconds there's two things with this um, one YouTube is constantly changing their um, rights and all that and as soon as with some bands and some record labels etc as soon as you play even one second of their music bang copyright strike your videos taken down I didn't want to risk that also um, when it comes to a band as interesting and multi-layered as Tenga Cavalry's music is 30 seconds wouldn't give you a feel for the songs so really it would feel a bit it, to me it seemed a bit better to not play the song clips um, because it just wouldn't give you the feel this is an album that really you need to experience for yourself and hear the full songs as opposed to just mini mini clips because it just wouldn't give you the uh, same feeling unfortunately it is a shame that YouTube has gone this way but it's out of my hands it's out of everyone's hands uh, the death of YouTube it's, it's it's probably coming, to be honest with you. Anyway, on to what I feel, believe, is the last criticism. The final criticism is by Mancombe Seepgood, 
I'm, I'm honestly not making these names up. This is what pe the uh, usernames people are using on some of these sites. Saying, the guy is lazy. Whatever. Most hobbyist folks are. If he was remotely professional, it would be a big deal. Someone who is professional can take criticism. He can't. So just leave the guy and let him think he's doing something of value, despite the fact you can find higher quality material in dozens of other places on the first two pages of a basic Google search. Um, something I haven't said in reply to this on the video section of this is, yeah, you can find higher quality material in dozens of other places on the first two pages of a basic Google search. The reason they're higher quality is because they're usually companies of people who can afford better production and um, aren't doing this by themselves like I am. And there you see it, the last criticism from Mancoom Seepgood. Um, Call me a hobbyist folk. I guess you call it a hobby? I mean, in a way. As for saying if he was remotely professional, it would be a big deal. Um, it may not come across as it, uh, but I try to be as professional as possible. Um, also, excuse me if I can't take criticism. If that's true, I won't be making this video. I also would just not really be replying to people. Okay, my replies were, well, look the replies are an arsehole to be honest with you F fully admit that but um you know um saying let him think he's doing something of value um despite the fact you can find higher quality in dozens of other places on the first two pages of basic google search that may be true but you know i'm here doing what i can in my corner i get sent the albums early i try to get the reviews up for you guys to watch um and if you don't like my videos fair enough that's totally your choice. I'm not going to be here saying, oh, I've shared the video on this site, that site, the other site. You must watch it. You know, it's there as an option for you to watch. If you don't like my styles of reviews, fair enough. There you go. You don't like them. Go on to another reviewer. Um, if you do like my reviews, cheers. <laughs> but when it comes to sort of calling me just a hobbyist folk and, you know, saying that I'm not professional, um, that's... A little bit annoying to be honest with you um so i mean I, I did reply to him saying you're welcome to your opinions i'll just be here completely proving you wrong now i didn't mean that to come across as aggressive or as an asshole i just want to say you know what i'm trying to improve what i'm doing improving all the time and i'm going to prove everything you've just said there completely wrong so there you go anyway there we go, that is the criticisms that I've had of the Tanger Cavalry reviews. Um, again, apologies to the people I may have offended with some of my sort of replies. I've got to think about what I'm saying before I reply to people on um, so, some of the sites um, with the comments. Um, hopefully you enjoyed some of the videos. If you didn't, like I said, I'm sorry, you know, sorry that you wasted your time watching my video, but thanks for giving me a go anyway. You know, as best I can say. Anyway, um, I will get some more reviews up soon, and I've started a new job. So the review videos are going to slow down a little bit, because um, I'm actually doing a job where I'm going to be walking door to door. Um, so I'm going to be quite quite knackered when I get home every night. Um, but apart from that, this job will hopefully bring in some money, mean I can get a better quality camera, better quality mic, and make the videos higher quality as well. We shall see how that goes. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. If you did watch it, um, and you know, you know what? Despite you being, in some some terms slightly rude, some terms sort of crit just clearly criticising my work, trying to make me sort of work out what I've got to do on my videos to make them better. You know what? Whether you're rude or not, thank you for making the criticisms because it just urges me on to make my videos better and also gives me pointers as to where I'm going wrong. So for all you lovely folk who watch this, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I try to face it all Some will bear my